Welcome to Strange Blue Dots. All right, we have another unboxing today, but this one is actually really interesting. You might actually want to stay to the end because we're going to be teaching you how to take 2.7K footage and properly make it into 4K and hopefully with minimal degradation. So if this is something you're interested in learning how to do, well, stay tuned. Honest, I am a little bit tired today. Uh, I woke up. In fact, I don't even think I hardly slept. I slept maybe like maybe like two hours, and then I decided to just grab the morning uh, sun. And uh, the reason why I decided to basically shoot so early is, you know, because of lighting purposes. Check it out. filmmaking is being able to capture what is called motion blur so we're not going to get a lot of motion blur right now because it's actually quite bright which is the reason why i decided to get this little item nd filter for the mavic mini now you might be wondering what is nd filter well you got to think of it as kind of like having sunglasses for your camera which allows you to shoot at a lower shutter speed ideally you want to shoot about double the shutter speed that you have the frame rate and that gives you a very comparable look to how the human eye sees motion blur. Anyways, doubt you're gonna see any of that, but we're gonna take a look at how to do so. So we got our ND filters little box over here. Yeah, I should probably put this guy down. All right, nice and easy case for the ND, ND filters, beautiful. Actually, I needed that, so thank you. Oh, look at that, oh my goodness, look how tiny these guys are. Just to give you an impression of how small these little filters are. So we got ND8, ND16, ND32, ND64 for extremely bright weather. A UV uh, filter, which uh, I've been hearing it's, a, it's basically useless, but we'll see. And then we have a circular polarization filter. So we're gonna be trying all these filters today. And then, like I said earlier, uh, once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to make 2.7K footage into 4K footage. Look at that beautiful reflection. It's Sky Reads, so you can fly with the beats. Sky Reads, so you can say bye to your feet. Well, make sure you take out the case. And then I'm gonna try uh, ND32. Maybe that'll be the one that we'll be using today. And you kind of just clip it on. Make sure the drone is off so your uh, gimbal doesn't go crazy. Just a little bit of pressure. There it is, that easy. And just take note that the little ends of the filter are actually going inside these side slots, these ventilation slots or whatever you want to call this. Notice the water was super, super choppy. And the reason is because there are a couple hurricanes nearby. I'm not sure how much it's affecting the, the wind around the area. But if you've been looking at the news, it's kind of like a, a double punch. You know, you got Marco and, and Laura. What are you talking about? What? It's not a Marco Laura, it's a Marco Polo. Not Polo, it's Laura, Marco and Laura. It's a Marco Polo, Marco Polo, yes. What are you doing? You're making Italians look stupid. Honestly, 
And I thought Brazilians were crazy. Let's go flying. So I have to drive uh, to get there because every location that I'm near uh, is basically near airport or as I was explaining earlier, near a uh, natural preserve. So uh, we're just gonna hit up a little beach and then just test out how this drone does, how these lenses do. I'm gonna try a slightly different beach. Kind of nice. No lifeguard on duty, so that helps. So something that you might want to make sure you do is uh, just grab your Mavic Mini and uh, test out the lighting conditions uh, before you start flying. So just turn on the drone, turn on your uh, app, and then just kind of check out how the camera is doing and then make sure that your shutter speed is exactly double the frame rates. And then that'll give you that cinematic look that you're probably looking for.